dirty south, dirty, dirty, uh, we dirty. Uh, can y'all really feel me? I got bigger girl. East Coast feel me, uh -huh. West Coast feel me. <laughs> can y'all really feel me? Feel it. East Coast feel me, West Coast feel me, uh -huh. dirty south, dirty, dirty. Uh -huh. Can y'all really feel me? What? Y'all, I may just start doing this instead. Like I said, 15 year old me is gagging right now because I never thought that it was possible. Not that it wasn't possible. I was just like, I need gel, especially with my hair being so kinky and just. <clears throat> but I do like the option of not having to use a gel all of the time because gels take, it's, it's a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie. Usually I do gels overnight so I don't even have to deal with it. I can just and slick it back and go to bed and when I wake up it's dry sometimes. So I have bobby pins here just in case, but I don't think we'll have to use them. I really don't. I feel like my hair is to the length now. If this was a year ago, my hair would have been too short probably, but I feel like we're at the length now where I can slick it back or pull it back without it needing bobby pins. We're gonna spray it down first with some water. And my hair still has a little bit of leave-in conditioner left over from yesterday, but not much, just a little. Okay, so we're gonna start with the back section. Let me suction you off. Okay, so I went ahead and parted off a little moat. I just did this bottom layer because we're gonna just do this, and then we go do this layer, and then we go do this layer. That's gonna be the easiest to just make sure everything is detangled and going right. I'm gonna use my detangler brush just to go through it. The first product I'm gonna put in it, let's see, what to use, what to use. First product I'm gonna put is some of this Miel leave-in conditioner. This is their white peony, peony, penny, just kidding. I like this one because it's kind of a lighter, it's more liquidy than creamy. So the next product we're gonna put in it is going to be, we're gonna be using this Lotto Body, Lotta Body Moisturize Me Curl and Style Milk. And last but not least, I'm gonna use a little, little, little bit of this Camille Rose Curling Jelly. I just feel like this is gonna be my little bit of hold that I have for my hair. And I'm also gonna mix that with a little bit of beeswax, a little bit. And then I'm gonna use my double-sided brush. I'm gonna use the hard side. You know, there's a soft side and a hard side because we need to really Okay, come through Murray's. This beeswax is doing pretty good because the edges were still sticking up just a tad, but that was okay. That was to be expected. But this first layer is done. Only a hundred more to go. Okay, so now I'm basically gonna do the same thing and just go layer by layer until I get to the top layer, and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of a middle part and then brush the rest down. All right, let's continue. I'm gonna have to chill on the beeswax. It's because I put all this product in my hand. It's having trouble like even slicking. That's why it looks so chunky.
That's okay though, because this is one of the bottom layers, but can we just look at this? Look how slick and no gel, what? Like I said, this is a bottom layer, so I'm not worried about the whiteness, but I'll just keep that in mind for when I go at the very top. Alright, we're looking good so far. Now we're getting up to the difficult parts. I'm literally just going to finish with this. I feel like it's not that big of a suction that I can't handle it. I'm going to go ahead and make my part. Like I said, I want to do just a simple, a simple mini part. Home stretch, can you say home stretch? I will say, I do like that this conditioner is a little bit more lightweight as in it's liquidy, it's not as creamy, but it definitely does not make my hair as soft as the more creamier leave-ins. So yeah, that's kind of the off side of it. She's trying to resist me, I can feel it. She doesn't, she's like, girl, sis, you trying to lay me down without gel? It ain't gonna work. She's trying to pop up right now. This is before the beeswax, by the way. I'm just trying to find a better way to delegate the beeswax without having it clump up like it was. Because the beeswax is really kind of like, I mean, we could leave it like this, but the beeswax might give it a little bit more hold. Beeswax! Beeswax came through. I hope this is not a cop out for me not using gel because beeswax is kind of, it's not a gel at all. This is actually a much more natural alternative. What? Y'all, I may just start doing this instead. See what happens when we try new things? Do you see? make sure to brush tight behind my ear because that's right where my hair is I mean my hair is longer than it was but that's right where my hair likes to like let up so I'm gonna make sure it slipped back here this side went down pretty good like y'all look at this I actually like this a lot and it's not any of those bumps like it usually is with the gel you know nice and natural we're gonna go ahead and finish we've just got this little actually it's not that little but we've got this section left. Slick her down and then we'll be back. Since this section is a little bit bigger, like I feel like this is less hair than this, I'm just gonna take smaller sections and work that way and slick it down. This is it without any beeswax at all. This is just my little moisturizing milk from Lotta Body and my curl maker from Camille Rose. I'm just literally adding in the beeswax to just give it a little suction because I feel like if not, I don't know. And it's not like super tamed, like it's just giving it a little bit of hold, just a smidge. And I figured out with the beeswax, I just have to make sure my hands are completely dry when I use it because my hands were wet before and I still have that moisture milk and the curling curl maker from Camille Rose on my fingers. So it was getting clumpy and that's why it was turning white because I had to put it on in big clumps. But when my hands are dry, it goes on a lot uh, smoother. This is what 
we're looking like. I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna do one more brush around just because my edges are starting to pop up over here a little bit and I just want it to be as collected as possible. itching to do my edges right now but the most I can do is put this beeswax on this beeswax is not bad is this gonna stay and hold is the question no idea at all but for the meantime it's nice for just giving me a nice finished look I also love the fact that it's kind of like oily so it's like Vaseline almost so when I put this on to kind of seal everything in it gave my hair this really pretty cute shine to it it just looks healthy healthy honey uh, sometimes with gels also there can be a lot of bumps and stuff so this just looks super neat and healthy and good and not a single bobby pin in my head so per usual we're gonna have our hair sit for a little bit under the scarf all right we are back it's been about good 20 minutes <laughs> So we're gonna take this off. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find a beauty goes with Guys, this turned out really cute. This actually went better than I expected. I felt like what? Like, you cannot tell me right now that there's no gel in my hair. Like, I'm shook. I just feel like it's crazy because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like a nice, sleek, back bun look in general. I just feel like this looks like it's a nice, it's still sleek in a way, but it's not like super slick. It's just like a nice, happy medium in between the two, I feel like. But I love this. See what happens? I'm telling y'all, when we try new things, it's always good results. That's a lie. It's not always good results, but this time we did good. But that's going to be it for this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Let's be YouTube friends. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.